I got there, you're gonna sit or you gonna stay in there? Um, oh, which one do you want to use? Which one would be better for you to use? Just like that. That one, okay. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get us both in the camera. There you go. Alright, here we go. Alright, back on the morning drive on this Super Tuesday. Polls are now open. Get out and make sure your voice is heard on the Super Tuesday. We'll have results from the Georgia primary tomorrow morning and discuss them at length. Of course, uh, they'll be keeping up with the national returns here on the radio station with updates throughout the evening. So, uh, But do, if you've not taken advantage of early voting, get out and make your voice heard today. Uh, joining me this morning in the studio with us, John Quarterman. John, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Chris. Let me make sure I got the right microphone on there. Now we can hear you good. Very good. All right. Uh, uh, John, thanks for joining us. Uh, you have got, uh, you were with a group, uh, I guess it's a, an organized group or an organized effort. I don't know if you have a, a name for you. I guess this is it. Drive Away CCA. Is this the official name of your group? Well, that's the name of the event today. It's kind of an ad hoc group. Let's turn this microphone around there. Get this one right here? There you go. Now All right, how's that? There you go. Now you go. Okay. Yeah, the, the idea came from uh, Wynn Roberson. He lives a... Uh, uh, over on the east side of the town uh, there, and he'd actually signed the petition we've been circulating about this private prison. Mm -hmm. But he had it hadn't really sunk in until he read the newspaper about a week ago where it's going to be, which is out east on US 84 at the corner of Inner Perimeter, and he realized, this is right down the street from me. Mm -hmm. So he, he, he suddenly thought, well, we should do something about this. So his idea was, let's have a motorcade from the private prison site down to the Industrial Authority. The Industrial Authority that wants CCA, Corrections Corporation of America, to build a private prison right here in Lowndes County. And this issue has been ongoing. This started back a couple of years ago when they first started looking at the possibility of this group building a private prison here. And it's not a done deal yet. There's still, I know there was a, uh, an article in the newspaper last week after the meeting about there's still a lot of things that have to be worked out if this were to be built, correct? Well, that's right. Uh, yes, they signed the contract back in 2009, but the contract has a bunch of uh, conditions. You know, the, the, the first hurdle is they've already done two extensions to the contract, and the second extension expires March 13th, one week from today. Mm -hmm. So uh, before then, if they want to continue it, either they've got to come up with a third extension, which as of last week hasn't happened yet, mm -hmm. or the private prison company has to send a notice of to proceed, which as of last week hasn't happened yet. Mm -hmm. And there's still other things, like the county has promised to sell water and wastewater to the prison, but they have to get that from the city, and the city hasn't agreed to it. Right. And the county has agreed to a backdoor road out through county-owned wetlands, but the Corps of Engineers hasn't signed off on it. Right. So there's all sorts of hurdles it has to go over. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have a motorcade today. Uh, again, what time are you planning to start this? That's right. Drive away CCA, 5 p.m. today. Meet out on Dalton Johnson Road, which is a little road off of US 84 near the corner of Inner Perimeter. 5 p.m. today, Dalton Johnson Road. We're going to drive down past Valdosta City Hall, honk at the Valdosta City Council work session, and on to the Industrial Authority <laughs> site on North Patterson. That's yeah. right, honk if you don't want a prison. <laughs> <laughs> um, and again, this has been, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's, I, I don't want people to think, well, they're going to build a prison where I guess that because we don't know this is going to happen yet. You mentioned two hurdles there, but another part of it, is, as I understand it, and correct me if I'm wrong because I'm playing a little bit of catch up on this, is that also there must be funding for the prison, which also has not been assured yet, correct? Because right now there, I mean, they were taking prisoners. Right now, that funding to actually build the prison would have to come from somewhere else, correct? Well, most people are playing catch-up because it's been very quiet until quite recently. Most people don't even know what a prison. Well, yeah, the, there's a proposed prison right here in Lowndes County. And, uh, yeah, it's either going to be a state prison or a federal prison. Recent mm -hmm. indications probably a federal prison. And the federal government is not raising money, uh, additional funds for prisons. And the state government, I just found this out myself, uh, the other day, the, in 2010, the prison population in Georgia actually decreased by almost 8%. Mm. First time in anybody can remember. And, and it, it wasn't just a little decrease, it was the biggest decrease percentage-wide of, of any state except tiny little Rhode Island. So the prison population in Georgia is already going down. Meanwhile, the legislature has had a study committee that's already reported back on sentencing reform. 
which means even fewer prisoners. So why do we need a new prison in the first place? Why should the state want to pay for it? Why should the federal government want to pay for it? Right. And that's why, I, I guess that's my question, is what are the chances um, that this is going to happen? I guess nobody really knows that yet. I don't know if CCA knows that yet. Well, um, I, I was hoping uh, last week at the uh, Industrial Authority meeting that they would just come out and say, we don't want this, but they didn't. The mm -hmm. board said nothing. The, uh, their program manager said, well, you know, it could continue. He did say that they had talked to CCA and CCA is mulling it over. And <laughs> Maybe that's a sign. Maybe that's the private prison falling down. <laughs> now, let me ask you, because the... the um, Upside of this, or they, at least the argument to have one here, are you know 400 new jobs, uh, a capital investment of about 120 million dollars. So in this time in the economy, we say, well, 400 new jobs would be pretty good, and most of them, it seems to be through the uh, research that I've done, would be fairly decent paying jobs. So that's at least if you're going to say, well, that's something we need to look at. That's the reason I guess this whole thing started. That, that is the reason. This, this is one of those jobs, jobs, jobs projects. You, you probably all remember Brad Lawson, the former executive director of the mm -hmm. Industrial Authority. He's the guy who signed that contract. Now, when you look a little closer, and you know, I'm not surprised that you haven't had time to dig into it farther than that, but uh, in uh, New York State, they already did this kind of thing a long time ago, and there was a study a couple of years ago about counties that have prisons like this and counties that don't. And in good times, bad times, times of recovery, on average, the counties with such prisons had slightly worse unemployment than the counties that did not. And you may wonder, how can that be? Mm -hmm. Well, there's a number of reasons. One is, the, first of all, a lot of those jobs aren't going to go to people who live here because they require special certificates. Second of all, a lot of people don't want to live in the same county where they have these prisons. And perhaps most importantly, prisons like this drive away other businesses. It, both existing businesses, but even more businesses that might locate here. Now, we've already got the Odessa State Prison to the left of us, and if we're going to have this thing to the right of us, who wants to locate in the middle of a prison colony? Uh, okay. Well, yeah, maybe a bit much, but, uh, but uh, we, we, now we have two prisons here, correct? Uh, we have the jail and we have the right. Odessa State Prison. Right, Odessa State Prison, exactly. So, uh, and, you know, I guess the argument, again, I'm playing devil's advocate here, would be, well, you know, we've not had any problems with these prisons here, if we can have one that provides, you know, an estimated 400 jobs, and I don't know that to be exactly true, I guess, I don't know if anyone knows exactly what that job creation would be, and, uh, and the infusion of, you know, money, you know, are there any cases where someone has built a prison and has worked? Oh, uh, well, I, I can't think of any off the top of my head. Yeah. I can tell you that the case of Littlefield, Texas, which mm -hmm. had a private prison built by the other big private prison company, Geo, mm -hmm. and after some years it closed. Meanwhile, other businesses had moved out, businesses that might have located didn't, so these guys are now left with an expensive white elephant and no jobs. Right. Is that what we want? Right, exactly. Again, we're talking with John Quarterman. He is organizing a motorcade today that will begin at 5 p.m. at the site, the proposed site of where a uh, possible new private prison would be built on the uh, east part of Highway 84 at Inner Perimeter Road, and that will uh, travel through, I guess, through right through downtown on East Hill Avenue, and then all the way down to the Industrial Authority, correct? That, that's, that is correct. Uh, let me just mention a few other names. Uh, we know about that uh, contract uh, deadline of March 13th, mm -hmm. the, the current contract between the Industrial Authority and, and the prison company CCA expires March 13th. We know that because Matt Flummerfelt filed an open records request in the Industrial Authority and we got the contracts. And you know, Bobby Ann Hancock has done up a, has dug up some really interesting history of CCA. They've had problems their entire history. The way they try to claim they save money for the state or the feds is they scrimp on number of guards per prisoner, which leads to higher risk of inmate violence and higher risk of escapes, both both of which have happened in quite a few prisons. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, know, you, you mentioned that that there haven't been any problems at the jail or the state prison. Actually, there have. Well, I didn't say there have been any problems here, but I'm saying that they've not been, there's always, I think anytime you have a prison, you're going to have some situations there, but I'm saying, by and large, those have, I don't think, and they've been well documented, I think, the problems that we have had here. Well, um, there's been attempts to document, but the Valdosta Daily Times for years has been trying to get details out of Valdosta State Prison about what's going on. They get to run around, they're told, oh, those records are no longer available, or we're, you know, it's 
some kind of litigation, we can't reveal them, or we didn't record that. And that prison is supposed to be subject to sunshine laws, a private prison is not. So we wouldn't have any idea. Gotcha. And, you know, uh, and another name I really want to mention because George Rhines, George Boston Rhines, has been following the whole incarceration situation, particularly in the Lowndes County Jail, for years. And he's found a few, uh, shall we say, irregularities down there, ranging from medical situations to jail deaths. Now, think about the things he's found there and multiply them to a much larger prison with less oversight. Gotcha. Uh, and again, this is... Uh, there's still lots of lots of uh, hurdles that would have to be overcome. That's uh, the words from Authority Chairman Roy Copeland as we talk about the uh, Industrial Authority and the uh, Private Prison Project. Again, things like, as you mentioned, the water and sewer infrastructure, uh, the uh, building of wetlands, things of that nature, and also, again, just simply the fact that the that the CCA, which is the acronym for the company, uh, the uh, Corrections Corporation of America. That they would have to get funding from the federal government, and according to Ashley Paul, who of course is formerly the Lowndes County Sheriff, he sees that he sees a trend of downsizing at the federal level um, as a former law enforcement officer. So, you know, the possibility that even if this is something that that everybody was in total agreement on, which obviously they're not, the fact that it still might happen or still it sounds like uh, you know, fifty-fifty maybe at best. Uh, I don't know what the odds are, but we hope to make the odds even better that it won't happen. <laughs> because we know, uh, you know, CCA is a listed stock exchange company, so they have to report to the SEC. Mm -hmm. In their 2010 report, one of uh, several of the risks they mentioned to their business were uh, sentencing reform uh, and public opposition. Public opposition can affect citing a prison. Mm -hmm. So the more public opposition they see, the more likely CCA will just decide it's not worth it. Gotcha. Speaking of sheriffs, oh, oh, by the way, I think it, uh, I, I think it was Ashley Paul who said the stuff about the hurdles. But anyway, speaking of sheriffs, the current sheriff, Chris Prime, is very much against this. Mm -hmm. He uh, has done his own research and discovered that private jails, private prisons, actually cost more to run, have higher risk, and um, as as he puts it, I don't remember the exact words, but. Uh, if there's going to be uh, people in a facility in this county, he wants to be in charge of it. Right. His quote was, if I'm going to be responsible for the prisoners, I want them to be within my reach. And uh, that's, and I, I can understand his, his point on that. So, um, again, the contract will expire one week from today. And at that point, I guess uh, either CCA will have to make a decision if they want to continue with this project. And also, uh, I guess the industrial authority will also have to decide, correct? Well, even though the contract says that CCA has, quote, absolute discretion, unquote, uh, there are clauses in there for termination that do apply to the industrial authority. And the industrial authority has a good lawyer, and their chairman, Roy Copeland, is a lawyer. So mm -hmm. I, I would bet if they wanted to, they could find a way to break that contract. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. Again, uh, the motor came today. If you'd like to be a part of that, uh, uh, 5 o'clock, the... Uh, let's see, again, it's going to start at the proposed prison site, Highway 84 and Inner Perimeter Road, and it'll travel through uh, down Highway 84, going west, I guess is a word, through the city of Valdosta and uh, going to the Industrial Authority office on North Patterson Street. So, open to all, I guess. That's right, anybody can come, and if you want more details, including a map, just Google for Lowndes Area Knowledge Exchange. You'll find that link right there on the front page, Lowndes Area Knowledge Exchange. And if you can't come today, you can sign a petition, you'll find that online, or you could go to the Valdosta City Council meeting that's Thursday, day after tomorrow, and stand up and speak about it, or the Lowndes County Commission meeting, which is Tuesday, a week from today, which happens to be March 13th. I have a sneaking suspicion someone will. Uh, <laughs> I may be looking at someone. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's, and you invite cars, trucks, motorcycles, and bicycles. Uh, be in good shape if you're going to take a bicycle. That's a pretty good little ride there. So mm -hmm. you have to catch up pretty quickly. Uh, John, thanks for the uh, information. We appreciate you stopping by. Thank you. We'll take a break and come right back. More, you'll have my official predictions of the uh, upcoming Super Tuesday votes tonight. I'll give you that later on. Stacey Bush will be joining us. And more of the morning drive right here on News Talk 105.9. This is WVGA. Thank you, sir. 